Greetings, Winnersburg Church. I'm so glad to be with you this Thursday. My name is Ryan Terramoto. Uh, I'm a pastor on staff here at Winnersburg, and I'm just so glad that you guys are uh, watching this Thursday. So would you turn with me, open your Bibles, and turn with me to the book of Habakkuk. Yes, I said Habakkuk. It's not one of the more popular books of the Bible that we read that often, but it's one of my favorites. And we're going to read Habakkuk chapter 3, starting in verse 17. So Habakkuk, for those who don't know, he was a prophet living in some of the last times of the southern kingdom of Israel. Habakkuk lived in times of serious trouble, serious problems. The nation of Israel was idolatrous, and they were rebelling against what God wanted for them. And so there was a lot of evil and despair among the people. And so Habakkuk is kind of a different, uh, kind of a prophet book because you never see in the book the prophet Habakkuk address the nation of Israel. But instead, he addresses God and is actually questioning the character of God. Is God good despite all the wrong and terribleness that is going on around him? And You even see that in the very beginning in the book of Habakkuk in chapter 1 where he says, How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Many of us, I believe, have probably felt that way in our lives. That maybe right now, in in the middle of this pandemic, it's like, God, where are you in all of this mess? But you know the kind of cool thing about the book of Habakkuk is that God, actually answers Habakkuk later in that chapter. God answers Habakkuk and says in chapter 1, verse 5, he says, Look at the nations and watch, and be utterly amazed, for I'm going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. I love the heart of God. And he says, I'm doing something that you might not believe even if I told you about it. And I believe that about today, that God is still on the move, that God is moving mountains today. And so we see in this book, there's this conversation back and forth between the prophet and God. And the cool thing about the prophet Habakkuk, he actually pictures himself as a watchman, someone who is looking for God to be on the move. And as you see in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2, he says, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in all of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day, in our time. Make them known in wrath. Remember mercy. I love what the prophet is saying here. He's saying, God, in this day, would you move? And I really believe, church, that should be our prayer as well. That faith would arise and that we would begin to call upon God and be looking for him to move among us. And so this book comes to a conclusion in our passage today. And you see the heart of Habakkuk as God has spoken to him and has changed his heart. So our passage is uh, Habakkuk 3, starting in verse 17. He says, Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vine, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. The heart of Habakkuk has changed. And I pray that would happen with you in these days. As we experience so many hardship, and as many of us are in our households uh, who we are struggling, I pray that faith would arise. And like Habakkuk, we would choose to be a watchman, to look for the Lord to be on the move. That even though these things don't make sense all the time, that we would know that we have a God who keeps his promises to us, a God who is faithful today. Let's close our time in prayer. Lord, I thank 
you for those who are tuning in to this devotional this day. Lord, I pray over their families, over their households. I pray over generations that, Lord, you would bring about a great revival in their homes, a great revival in their hearts. And the Lord, in this season of struggle, in this season of confusion, we would know that your promises still stand. Lord, that we would know that you are still good and that you are still upon the throne. That even though things are falling apart, feel like they're falling apart, Lord, that we would take our joy in you, Lord, and that you would be our strength. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, Winnersburg. We hope to see you soon. Bye.